What's up everybody, this is Reed with Import Outlaws. Just getting ready to head to Walton, Kentucky for the King of Compacts. It is 3.27 in the morning. I'm freaking tired. We got about a 10 hour drive. Not looking forward to it, but uh, looking forward to this weekend. So yeah, we travel a lot for these things and sometimes traveling is the worst part. Sabrina and Kate aren't gonna get to go this weekend. So it's just gonna be me. Uh, old Lone Ranger, I guess you could say, but uh, for those of you that don't know, Sabrina is super pregnant right now. Uh, I think we got about five or six weeks till our due date, and yeah, they just don't want her traveling more than 200 miles. So she's gonna hold down the fort at the house. Her and Kate are gonna hang out, stay in the warmer weather because it's supposed to be pretty cold this weekend. You know, we don't want them getting sick and stuff anyway, but just gonna be me, Jason, and Brett. Luckily, we got the uh, the three musketeers together, so uh, should be a good one. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Get ready to hit the road and make this a long drive. Well, boys, this is our current situation right now. We are about three and a half hours away, sitting in some dead stop traffic. Uh, hopefully make the track. We'll get there eventually. We got qualifying heat tonight, so we got to get some practice in and go from there. second off the pace uh, just kind of had the wrong tire size and on top of that a car in the session in front of us they blew a motor and dropped a bunch of oil on the track so uh, down the front stretch and through one and two it was, it was slick pretty bad uh, we're rolling off sixth in the four heat, fourth heat race uh, top two transferred to the main event and if not we'll have to go to a B main so hopefully that won't be the case I think we're gonna be all right so I'm just gonna go out there and give it my best and try to dry the wheels off this thing
uh, they were taking top three. So as of right now, we're not in. We've got to race our way in through the B main tomorrow. Um, yeah, right before the E race, we found that we were actually having issues with the alternator um, charging, and we didn't catch it until then. Um, the wire that goes into the alternator plug to, you know, to send the signal to charge uh, it keeps backing out. So uh, I noticed the like, first lap of the heat race, the voltage has dropped to 12 volts. Um, when that happens, it completely changes the tune in the car, and then you know, the car just felt real lazy off of, up off the corner. So we're gonna get it fixed. You know, give it another shot tomorrow. Uh, we're hoping that they give us a provisional to make it into the main race. If not, then cut short and we won't be in the big king of compacts race they are having a non qualifiers race so i don't know we'll kind of consider doing that but if it runs too much of a risk of tearing up the car then you know we might just load up and get ready for lakeview at the end of the month so anyway i'm gonna get to work on this thing and yeah we're gonna give it another shot tomorrow jason's looking at this plug Don't tell him what's going on alternator clear charging because the speed Come on, plug from the alternator. Get on right. charge. That uh, that connector right in there, it's pushed way back into the plug, so it was just uh, it was barely making some contact. And then once the force from the turn, you know, came into effect, it just backed off. It wasn't charging anymore. So we're just going to wire it directly to the alternator. That'll fix our issue, and uh, hopefully it'll be enough for the B main tomorrow. I, I thought about one time before like a while back doing away with the green plug yeah but i figured since it was so close to that that's the reason i didn't do away with it just kind of giving it some protection okay but i mean if you think it'll work just fine without it we can do without it yeah i think, I think so? it will i mean we'll just we'll zip tie it like you know there's that hole in the alternator right there mm -hmm. so um like where we had that zip tie around it before Zip tie it up. I think I think it'll be all right. We're hooking up the alternator. We got the skin the wire back. We're gonna make it a direct drive. <laughs> that should give us about 1.2 more Direct <laughs> drive. What's up, everybody? Day number two of King of Compacts. We're just hanging out at the Airbnb right now. Finally got some sleep. It was a pretty brutal work week, so I uh, I was exhausted. But got some tires we need to get ready and need to fix our issue a little bit better uh put a better spade connector on that alternator and get it heat shrunk and all that but yeah i just want to show you guys this place it's pretty nice and pond back there off in the distance but it's pretty awesome fire pit got a hot tub over there getting ready to head to the track in a minute and Hope we can make something out of today. Just out here, clean some tires at the old Spline J. Got a little set up here at the old waste dump station. Gotta do what you gotta do on the road, you know. I didn't really get a good shot this last night, but we're gonna just put a spade connector on the end of this uh, trigger wire for the alternator. And then I'm also gonna replace that wire as well, because you can see that's kind of floppy. We're not really feeling too good about that. So we're gonna get it swapped out and hopefully that will fix our issue we're having. back on so I just gotta put the wire loom back on and we'll be ready to go. Jason got the plugs replaced. Um, they weren't looking too bad but you know we just kind of thought that maybe we had fouled them when you know as the car had low voltage and stuff it was getting flooded so went ahead and replaced them anyway just for ease of mind but got tires ready just gotta swap them out and then 
Uh, we gotta try to race our way in through the B main. We're looking for a top two. that coal pack in kept backing off on us so they're putting a, a bolt in it right now and after that we should be ready to go but wish us some luck gonna try to bring home the ten thousand dollars but only got to improve 19 spots so it should be all right <laughs> this game's gonna be rough but we got it yeah brett told me not to panic because they got this thing under control what's up everybody sorry to interrupt this video but Fortunately, I got some bad news. When Whenever we went to start the camera for the feature event, uh, we accidentally put it in time-lapse mode, so the whole feature is just a giant time-lapse. So I'm gonna throw it in here anyway, but you know, just know that there's not gonna be any audio to it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna crop out the cautions and everything. And I mean, it's kind of cool because you can see 
me passing a bunch of cars to make my way up to the front. Uh, the car was a rocket ship until the brakes went out. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. But I also want to give a shout out to Brand Dalton and his family. They got involved in a wreck on the way home from the races the other night. And luckily, everyone was all right. I mean, it's a miracle. The, the truck and trailer barrel rolled a couple times, and I know Brand was following behind it. So. Uh, that's a scary deal and my heart goes out to those guys. Um, I couldn't imagine going through something like that. So hopefully they can get everything back together soon and get back out of there. But, um, yeah, I'm just glad they're all right. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the, the main event. spots so the car was on a rail we had a restart on lap 26 and um, while the brakes are under caution the brakes cooled off and when we fired back off I had, I had none so after a couple laps it came back to me a little bit but the pedal is still real soft gonna have to kind of figure out what's going on with that because you know it happened to us at Dega too and just the, those places that we use a lot of brakes it's boiling the fluid over so yeah gonna have to do something with that but we'll figure it out Overall, car's looking pretty good. Got some damage on the right rear here. Um, I'd gotten hit going down in turn one one time and you know, broke the bumper cover, pushed that bumper in, uh, kind of knocked the whole back end over. I mean, you can kind of see it's not straight anymore, but you know, not too bad. We're gonna get everything loaded up, get on the road and head back to, uh, to Georgia and South Carolina where we're from. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Ended up making a, a weekend that started out bad into a good one. So it was a solid points night's what we needed. So I will see you guys next time.